What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can go ahead and root your BlueStacks for Android device. So obviously, as you may or may not know, BlueStacks comes with a Android emulator. It's currently version 4.1, but this will work for this version and any version past this point. But it doesn't allow you to do administrative things like mess around with the actual Android operating system and cool things like that. Unfortunately, you need to root first for that. And this being a virtual Android, it's a lot more difficult to root than, say, a real Android. So how exactly do you go about doing it? Well, it's actually rather simple. Open up Chrome or a web browser and head across to bstweaker.tk. Once you're on this page, look for the current version of bstweaker 5.15.2 and hit download. Obviously, this number may be different for you. Once it's done, we'll open it with the default zip explorer and we'll simply drag and drop it out onto our desktop. Opening up at bstweaker5, you can see that there is a bluestacks tweaker5.exe inside of it. All we'll be doing is double clicking on this. Windows is complaining about it, we'll go more info and run anyways, and then hit yes when asked for admin. Right, so as you can see, BlueStacks is currently green, meaning that it's currently running, and ADB is now connected, which is a bridge between my computer and this virtual Android device. Now that this is complete, all we really need to do is head across to the root tab, and you can see it says stop BlueStacks for use. So all we need to do is go back to the main page, and hit force kill BS. That will close BlueStack Studio entirely. Head back to the root tab and we'll hit the unlock button. Wait a couple of seconds. And now that it's unlocked, all we need to do is start BlueStack. So we'll go back to main and then start BS. Heading back to the root tab, we'll wait for BlueStacks to fully open. Once it's fully open, we'll go back to BlueStacks tweaker and we'll hit patch. Now that we've hit patch and it says success true, We'll go ahead and click on install super su which is the administrative application and you can see it pops up on the desktop over there clicking on it once we'll open it up and we can go ahead and set this up as is so we'll go ahead and update it normally and then basically once this is done updating you can go ahead and use your virtual android device with its root as you would on any other rooted android device meaning you can go ahead and explore and edit the android files the operating system change the way that the display is set using all of these little root tweaks and stuff like that and it can be really cool at times you can go ahead and change this entire launcher in fact so you don't have these buttons you can have a completely different one like i think it's nova launcher and stuff like that but anyways this video was just on how to root your virtual android device on bluestacks and that's about it thank you all for watching my name is me Technobo here for troubleshoots and i'll see you guys next time ciao